All right, this is just going to be a quick video. I want to talk about number bases or radix. So base 10 decimal, this is the number system that we grow up using. So in elementary school, when you're talking about numbers, you count, usually you start at 1, but you count up to 9, then you get to 10. When you're at 10, you're filling in the next column. Then you use every combination of all these digits from 10 all the way up to 99. So it keeps going and going and going, 98, 99. Once you've used every combination of those digits from 0 through 9, then you get to the next column, 10, and so on. And you just keep going up and up and up. Now, we've got all of these numbers, and the way this numbering system works it's going to do the same thing whether you're on base 10, base 2, base 16. It doesn't matter which base you are. The method that you use is going to be the same. You use every possible number and then you add to the next column and then every possible combination and then add a column. Every possible combination, add a column. Zero. One column. Then, t then 10, you get to two columns. 100, you get to three columns. 1,000 is four columns. And so on. Base 2 means there's two possible numbers. Base 10, there's 10 different numbers, 0 through 9. Base 2, we've only got 1 and 0. Computers love this because this is on, off, open, closed, yes, no, true, false. Computers only know two different states, so they work with 0 and 1. This is called binary. There's two of them. So I've used every possible number, 0, 1. I have to go to the next column, 10, 11. Well, I've used every possible combination. I get to the next column. I do it, next one. And then I keep going and going and going. Every time I run out of numbers, I just add to the next column. So I increase the number of columns. Something else to take note of, all of the odd numbers end with one in binary. Every time you get to a power of two, so zero, two, four, eight, these are all powers of two, that's a point where you're adding the next column. So at 2, I've added the second column. At 4, I've added the third column. At 8, I've added a column. At 16, sure enough, there's the next column. And it just keeps on going up and up and up. Now, base 16. This means there's 16 possible digits before you get to the next column. We don't have 16 different numbers that we use in our day-to-day -day life, so we use the letters A through F to represent the last ones. So we go 0 through 9, then A, B, C, D, E, F. Now I've run out of digits. I go to the next column. We go 10 up to 19, but then we don't go to 20 because we've got those other digits, A through F. So 19, 1A, 1B, 1C, 1D, 1E, 1F, then we get to 20. 21, 22, and so on. And you can see we just we go through all these different combinations until we get up to the next column. At 255 in decimal, that is eight ones and FF inside of the uh, base 16 or hexadecimal. 127, we've got seven ones. 128, we're going to have a 1. 128 is another multiple of 2, or not multiple, sorry, it's a power of 2. And that's going to give us 1, the next column, followed by 7 zeros. Then 255, we get to all 1s. 256, a 1, and 8 zeros. So it's just these numbering systems. It's just different ways to count the numbers. But if I said decimal 3, or binary 11, or base 16, 3, I'm talking about the same number. It's just different ways of writing the same value. Inside the computer, it's going to be using binary. Base 16, it gets used a lot. Um, you had 16-bit computers, then 32-bit, then 64-bit. They're talking about the number of ones and zeros that it could store and process at one time. So base 16 became kind of a standard. A lot of things were... Um, one byte, which was eight bits, and then it became two bits, two bytes rather, which became sixteen. Um, other things that you can uh, that you'll come across that have numbers of bits or bytes. Uh, JPEGs, JPEG images are twenty-four bit. They're three bytes. 
uh, PNGs can be either 24-bit or 32-bit. They're just talking about the numbers of ones and zeros that represent the number that stores the color or transparency of each one of the pixels. And then base 64. Um, you can count the same way in base 64, but base 64 tends to get used for when you take a binary file and you convert it into a string. So you take the raw ones and zeros, that data, you break it up into chunks, and then you turn those chunks, each of those chunks, into a number between 0 and 63. And then those numbers are represented by letters. So it goes from capital A to capital Z, and then at 26 you get lowercase, and you go through all the lowercase letters, then you get through all the numbers, and then at the very end, oh sorry, I put an equal sign, this should be a plus sign, and then a forward slash. I'll fix that before I upload this to the Git, GitHub gist. Um, so you've got 0 through 63, and the entire base 64 string that you're using to represent the data that's inside of a binary file every single character in that string is going to be one of these 64 characters. Capital A to Z, lowercase a to Z, 0 through 9, plus and forward slash. And then there's sometimes at the very end you'll have an equal sign for padding. But that's it. That's how bases work. It's the same number that you're talking about, it's just different ways of writing the same number, depending on how many different digits there are. There's also base 8. I mean, you could do base 72, or you could do base 5. It just, they're not practical. They don't get used in computing. These are the ones that you'll hear about. These are the ones that you'll see as you learn how to program. All right. I hope that helped you out. If you had any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments before. And as always, thanks for watching.